In this video we're going to install OpenBox. I have um, all the phases, I've saved them all and well what I can do for what I do is make a clone every time and then I can install whatever desktop environment I would like to investigate. In this case I'm going to investigate OpenBox. Now we need to be sure that there is no ISO loaded up. Even so there's gonna be an issue. Why? Because I uh, made a, I stopped when I installed LightDM, so phase three. At that point I stopped, but there's no desktop environment installed. So I can type all I want, but nothing is in here. There's nothing behind it. There's no i3, no open box, no XFC, not, nothing, no desktop environment. So whatever I try, I can't start the session. So I'm gonna include this tip as well. What you do is super, no, not that, control F1. That's the one I want, so control F1 or control F2. So now, now I can actually log in. And I say I can log in as root or I can log in as, as Eric. Anyway, I'm working. I can log in now. And the only thing I need to do is make the choice I want to for a desktop, in this case, I just told you, let's investigate OpenBox. So without the desktop environment, LightDM says, I don't know what to do. So if we reboot now, <coughs> it's going to load up, well, it's going to load up LightDM first. And from there, we have now OpenBox. And all you need to remember to be able to do that was this uh, control right control and f1 f2 f3 f4 all the tty's so you can log in and do the stuff so this is open box nice right but this is the standard open box so this is not tweaked in any way that you might think so we need to do a lot of stuff more so let's uh, get cracking so we need to install and configuration of OpenBox. And of course, we have already done a lot of work in Arco Linux. There are configurations ready. Now, the question is, how do we get there? Do we have, for instance, Xterm? Xterm is available because we've put it in phase three, I think it is. When you install the Xorg applications, I also um, made sure I have at least Xterm. Because all of this, is not installed. Nothing is installed. This is standard stuff from OpenBox and nothing is really actually installed. It's just a make-believe. Now we are going to get our stuff. So first things first, I have an issue with the QWERTY. Again, that's gonna be difficult. Uh, there is no actual installation here for uh, to change keyboards in an open box normally would do something like load keys but I don't think that will work letter one is something we do but like I thought that will not solve it so first I have to solve my Azerti and QWERTY thing and then we can work efficiently. Of course, if you're uh, um, having an US keyboard, then it's all fine. You don't need to get into this figuring out what keyboard we need to have. Let's pause and figure it out. Let's try this. I've told him to install sudo pacman s xfce settings. So we need to uh, install xfce4 anyway to have a beautiful open box. So I installed that one and now I'm saying run it. So we have this keyboard layout that we can change. I see I had still have to add my, my uh, zoom here. So control F, what did we do in open box? We set view scale factor 150% just because of the terminal. So you can follow along and read along. So I'm gonna do this. Um, okay, let's see if we can get at our button because we need to go 
layout at Belgian okay English is out close and then we should have a ZT if we shut down so log out exit even gonna reboot doesn't take that long just to be sure that we get our ZT and in the meantime also our resolution so the resolution is okay it's 1920 and 1080 and if we go to terminal x term we still have 30 thank you very much um, well we still need to figure out how to change them so the xfc settings show hmm. doesn't exist my friend but let's check if it worked so terminals xfce4 settings manager let's see if it's set or not belgian okay normally i don't change that nor that nor that so that should apply if that's probably the point that I'm still missing some XFC stuff. Well, XF stuff, XSIDO, Pacman. Yeah, Pacman, man, dash S, big S, XFC. There is an XFC. Where is it? Or is it XF? I think I found it. Let's try it out. We need something called XFCE4 session. So, knows to load up the information. Let's see. It's going to install mm, those things. to connect so I'm just figuring out trying to know how to get my keyboard to run on open box okay I found the command so xf settings daemon is what we need to run and um, I'm wondering there we go so it's a bit tricky to change but um, that's the one we needed xfc xf settings daemon and i don't know if it was part of that one that i just installed of prior it was already there but that was the search that was our investigation where how to put it how to set it so anyway we have now this r thing and we can go along with the rest of the things so unless we're working on our Present working directory, who oh, Eric. <coughs> I'll do the sudo pacman minus at git since I want to use the power of git. I'm gonna clone from arch, nope, forget it, github.com, arco linux d, small d, arco open box, cd into arco. And we have all of this. Now, the font is, is well, rather small. Don't have termite and so on. So maybe we should get first the fonts in here. So some fonts will never hurt. And instead of x term, pseudo pacman minus s termite. I'm gonna install that. 
So when I when I well type thermite, then we have a started from one terminal another terminal. So it's okay. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger. <coughs> I suppose I was just thinking EFC terminal is also installed. No. Strange. Pseudo Pacman minus S XFCE for terminal. And there we go. We have that now too. It's not strange at all. It seems just not to be part of open box, obviously. Just checking how the fonts are bigger for this one. That's just what I wanted. Some bigger fonts for you guys to see. Let's make it nicer. Appearance. Don't want that. Make it a little bigger here. Close. I don't know if it's in here. GNOME XFC terminal is in there, and that's it. So now we continue our work. So ls, we change to Arco ls. We make sure that we have the fastest possible machine by telling, hey, we have four cores, use them. Okay, that's zero zero. Now. <coughs> This tutorial is specific and different than the Arco Linux D one because we have this special folder in here, Archway folder. So if you are installing Arch Linux and you want to import stuff that's from actually from Arco Linux, then you do need to run number 10 to trust the key from Eric Dubois. And you have to add the repo to our pacman.conf sudo pacman minus s will show you two more lines now Arch Linux is there as well meaning you can do a sudo pacman minus s that's with the space <coughs> like so so everything is here but we don't need everything we don't need also we don't need i3 and so on so we need to be smart about it and that's what we what i want you to be is that you figure out what elements you need and what not let's see if we can have an file manager in here nautilus tunar okay tunar not yet installed sudo pacman minus s <coughs> And there you go. So this link will work now in file managers, Tunar. So we are, well, that doesn't work either. We have shortcuts in Arco Linux, but not here. So we have the possibility to have this and we have all of that. Okay. So we are actually talking about Arch way. So we installed these two. These the other two are just necessary if you went if you installed the Arch Linux vanilla and you want to have Yahoo uh, and did not follow our um, phases on Arco Linux D, then maybe you'll need these as well. But Arch Yahoo is already installed. As you can see, we can install Spotify. So that's okay. We don't need to run those. So we go back up, CD, back up, LS, and it's up to you again <coughs> to decide what um, scripts you're going to run. This definitely, this you don't need to run because you have a display manager and you have a desktop. But do you want sound? Do you want Bluetooth? Do you want printers? Do you want Samba? Discovery from the network? Do you see other computers in your network? Software? from Arch Linux repo, from AOR repo, and these are specific stuff for Openbox. So those are really important. So that's the Arch stuff. 
Arch Linux stuff that's for this specific distro aka OpenBox. We're installing those. And number 510 is actually applications not coming from the Arch repo but from the AUR and we need to install those as well. So 500 as well. And it takes the amount it takes. I mean, depends on your download, on your PC, the hardware. If you're using all, um, let me say it again, all cores from your CPU. So script 000. zero, zero. We're making OBM generator. We definitely need that to have our menus yet is to have our conkeys we need also to run number 300 i think it is for our conky if we want to have conkeys in 300 there's also an element you need so that was 500 and in 600 we have already defined what things we want on open box we don't want i3 we don't want awesome we don't want etc etc so the things that we do want do need an open box are being installed <coughs> right now and then we'll need to reboot later some of the elements are going to be written in etc scale and this script number 600 is going to take care that whatever is in etc scale ends up in your own home eric folders so copying all the files and removing some stuff that we do not need that's uh, okay so 700 are the funds i believe we ran it already I'm not sure 700 it's a little bit too big can't see what we typed so 700 has been done 710 is for the fonty font sorry for the conkeys so if we want to have conkeys then that's uh, a thing 800 is an issue that's a very simple thing it says hey group auto login does not exist so we say group add auto login done and then we say again my name is eric and eric is going to be added to the group out login so next time i won't see lydm i will just boot in and that's fine for me 910 is going to fix the cursor browser 920 is going to fix the ob logout icons and the screen to lock everything is now chosen it's just the choice to make and choose this choose that take cursor breeze that's all it does and we definitely need to run 200 and 300 still but it takes always a lot of time to install all that and if we have um, if you want you can install some personal stuff from me install the fonts uh, dot fonts and the dot icons and the dot themes the personal bookmarks that i use well that that you can use it's well i opened it now and it's the wrong one to open actually it's down here in bookmarks the only thing it will do is make you aware that there is a temp folder from time to time you need to be in there to check out if why a build fails and here is etc scale and that's already a well-known folder for the arc linux guys so these bookmarks will be added and in here if we run number hundred so we're waiting anyway so let's run 100 let's un run 200 command not found this says in number 100 so etc scale and temp is already there so the the package it does not exist sudo pacman minus s what was it again xdg yeah it's just an user there's and then gtk update it says so it's one of the two I don't really know anymore let's try it out i think it's this one 
No, because it says reinstalling. So it might have been GTK then. That's new. So if we rerun 100, okay, then it's done and created. And we created now all these documents, downloads, music, public videos, all these folders that we otherwise have to create. Um, LS, what else? Did he finish? He finished. So 200 is done. 300 is about to be started, but I know already that this course is going to be taking a lot of my time and I don't want that. So I'm going to say forget about Discord for this run. And that's how you should do it. You should edit these files, add lines you want, or you want Steam, type it in, sudo pacman, pacman minus s Steam, etc. And um, I put an hashtag in front of stuff you don't want, like this time I don't want to install Discord. So this is the Conky Lua Arches. If you want to have Conkeys, you definitely need to uh, install those. So we were talking about this one. So the personal bookmarks have been done. Firefox has not been done. Question is, do we have already a link to Firefox? Yes, because I need to run it first. So if I don't run it, then I can't run actually number 300. So that's a fix. So I can read um, unreadable text for dark themes that it says. Sometimes in YouTube you get this uh, input boxes and you almost can't see it. It's light gray against white and it's unreadable. So this is a little CSS fix for that. And all the rest I'm going to keep off. So that's my personal stuff that I installed. <coughs> now everything is being in, in started already. Um, I wonder if we can reconfigure open box. Yeah. So there we go. We have already a menu that we recognize. And if the application is installed, then there will be no errors, but it's only a big if. Huh? So all these things have been installed, otherwise they wouldn't be in here, in between here. But these things are manual. These things are automatic. Automatic. And let's see if the Conkey already work, works. So Conkey Zen. And let's get our AU or Nemesis. Okay. Move that one out of the way. That one out of the way. So there you go. Tin2 is maybe already installed, stuff like that, but it's still installing, so we have to be, to be a little bit patient. So dot config, there is already a Tin2 in here. The open box folders and files from Arco Linux are all in here. Content needs to be installed, nitrogen needs to be installed, and so on and so on. So all these software is ready to kick in, but you need to install it first, of course, otherwise You'll just get errors, but of course, because of the errors, we, we learn a lot. I'm gonna pause the video here and wait for everything to install. And then, uh, suddenly, as we started, everything is now installed. 300 has been done, 200 is done. So, the only thing we should check out is what happens if we reboot now. We started with Arch Linux, went to get uh, the key from Eric Dubois and the Arco Linux packages and what do we get once we reboot? This is what we get if we reboot on Arch Linux. And people using Arco Linux will see that uh, it's recognizable, right? It's just uh, being on uh, Arco Linux, but it says Arch Linux. Of course, the logo is the one from Arco and the name in here is Arco Linux, not Arch Linux. But these things can be quickly changed. You can go to the menu config, is it? Let's see. No, it's the other one. Is it? Yes, it's the other one. So, OB Manage Generator, the scheme. And in the scheme, we have Arco Linux. And we can quickly say, hey, no, this is Arch Linux. Safe. That's it. Now we have Arch Linux up here. And the same applies for this nice logo there. So, Conkey. We can see edit conkey, conkey editor. 
oh sorry it's much easier to do conkey and then edit conkeys running conkeys is far easier and here we have Arch Linux and I happen to know out of my head that we have an Arch Linux PNG with I think it was 85 on 85 save let's see how that looks oh too big and then we get back in there did we use sublime text I don't know no we did not we use genie uh, so control Z control Z 50 by 50 is big enough so there you are with Arch Linux we're rolling Arch and all the information for the rest is okay Arco Linux Nemesis it says down here so we can go to the development I guess Genie down here it says Arco Linux Nemesis so we can well delete the lines in we don't need those lines maybe the last line is a horizontal line we can keep that in save and there you go we have now this kind of look and the rest of uh, the next tutorial will be showing you stuff around all right cheers